I've been saying one thing for years. You need to use the right tool for the right job. And Notion has been doing that for a while with their mobile apps. However, a lot of people have this wrong given the recent announcement that Notion has made that they removed a bunch of web views and replaced them with native views, which are much more performant. So let's talk about it. All right, so if you haven't heard the news, a couple of weeks ago, Notion announced via this tweet here, they have replaced a bunch of web views in their mobile application with native views for Android and for iOS. So what does that really mean? What that means is their application, which was in iOS and Android, previously was developed with a lot of web technology. So when you would load the application, it actually loaded a bunch of web views. It hit a website and it downloaded everything in maybe a responsive format. And it wasn't native that we would have in something like Android or iOS where you have just native screens built for a custom app. It'd be very similar to going to the website inside of the browser of your mobile device. Now, there's a couple of problems with this. It can load kind of slow and it's not super responsive. You do have to wait for network latency. You're loading HTML, you're parsing HTML. You've got JavaScript and CSS and there's a whole bunch of things that have to happen behind the scenes. Now, when you move from a web view to a native view, most of the time you're going to see a performance improvement because you have a lot of extra options available to you. A lot of times the UI is declarative inside of the actual Android or iOS application. Perhaps you've written it in Swift UI or Jetpack Compose or whatever native components. And then at that point in time, you do an API request, the data comes down and you load everything on the screen and it happens fairly quickly. And you can provide nice little loading spinners. Everything feels a little more polished. I'm not saying that's wrong. That's 100% correct. And you will get more performance in a native context. However, in my opinion, a lot of people have interpreted this tweet incorrectly. And what do I mean by that? If you look at a lot, some of the replies to this tweet, you'll see that some developers, namely mobile developers, will say, see, told you so, web views don't work. This is why you don't use web views because they're not performant. This is why you have to go native. This is why it's important. I understand that argument, but hear me out. I think that line of thinking is incorrect because you have to understand from a business perspective, what is the best way to build your application in order to reach market faster and in order to get the product into the customer's hands. So let's think about this, not even being a software developer, software craftsman, engineer, whatever you are, let's get rid of all that. Think like a business. If you have a business and you're trying to generate revenue and profit so you can continue to grow your business and you need a mobile application, but maybe you're a startup and you don't have the funds to build a native application on both platforms because let's be honest you're building two apps and technically you're building three if you already have the web so you're building the web you're building the android app and you're building an ios app and i'm going to say a little something here that some people might not agree with but i wholeheartedly feel the api is the fourth app an api is an app it's a application programming interface so you're having to build four apps as a business owner if you don't have the resources your runway which is how many funds you have until you're bankrupt you don't have any cash in the bank if you don't have enough how are you going to ship all these apps? Let me give you a hint. You're not. So you've got to make a decision. And that decision very often is to ship web views. And you may think like, why would I use web views? Why can't I just use the mobile website? Now you can, you can use the mobile website. That's perfectly fine. However, very often you want to get your application inside of a native context so you can have access to notifications. Notifications are the hook, which will allow you to drive user engagement inside of your application. So maybe you have reminders, maybe you have mentions, maybe you have inboxes, direct messages, something like that. And you need people to be notified. If you don't have mobile notifications, notifications, a lot of that is just going to be missed. Now, of course, you can use email, but a lot of people prefer to have these as native components. So maybe you write those components inside of native. So there's just a three or four of them, whatever. And then the rest of your application is all in web views. This is actually what I recommend. And in fact, a couple of years ago, when I was part of the Google Developer Experts for Android, I went to a Google Developers Expert meeting up in Toronto. We had this startup type of meeting with a bunch of people who are founding startups and they were looking for advice from experts from Google or people who work with Google, such as us, on what they should do for their application. And they would sit down as like a round table. Think of like speed dating, but for startups. Myself and a couple of other Android developer experts sat at the table and there was a number of these tables. And what would happen is these, I think it was 20, 30 startups, the founders would then kind of go from table to table to table and ask certain questions. Maybe this group was an expert in geolocation and maybe this is expert in Android and that one's in something else. They would kind of go around each group and get some feedback. And I think we spoke to either 10 or 12 people. And of those 10 or 12, I would have to say at least eight, that's 
eight of them, eight of the 12, we recommended that their application didn't even need to be native. They could do everything that they needed to do with the funds that they had by using a mobile website, a responsive website, or even wrapping it and then just using notifications if they needed notification support. And so kind of to bring this full circle, that's what Notion did. Notion started their application. They built a very valuable product. I use it. I, I really like it. It's a great tool. They built something that's so valuable that everybody wanted to use it on mobile. And so they thought, how can we get this into people's hands as quick as possible? If we don't have the funds, how do we do it? What they did is they wrapped up their application with web views and said, let's ship that. Is it perfect? No, it's not the greatest experience in the world, but you know what? If your product is valuable enough, users will still use it. They will still find it valuable. Look at Craigslist. I mean, I know it's the classic or beating this horse forever, but Craigslist is ugly. It's not fantastic, but people still use it. I don't think there was mobile apps for it for many years. In fact, I knew one of the people who was first licensed to create a Craigslist app. What I'm trying to say is Notion approached this problem correctly in my opinion. They launched with mobile web views, which is the right tool for the right job given the circumstances in which their company was within. I'm assuming most likely that they were looking at their runway, the amount of money they had, and I don't know any inside details, but they probably had a certain amount of funds. They had to look at it and say, well, we don't have the resources to build a native application for iOS and Android. And in fact, we don't even know if it's going to work. We don't even know what the most popular parts of a mobile app would be given our platform. So they took it, they wrapped it up inside of mobile web views, which they probably already had for responsiveness and shipped it. They were able to get the product into the customer's hands sooner. They were able to probably gather some analytics on top of that and make an informed decision to say, oh, here's the problems. Most likely there was multiple bug reports. Guarantee there was people complaining, this screen's too slow. It takes forever to load this. It doesn't remember my scroll state, blah, 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 blah. What did they do? They took all that information, went back to their teams or products and said, hey, how can we turn this into a product that is improved for the next release? And just recently, a couple of weeks ago, they announced a release that has much faster loading times. The notifications are cached, multiple different things that are faster. They have a side by side saying this is the before and this is the after of loading the same you know, workflow. And you can see that it's light years faster. Now, do I think that they moved everything over to mobile native? No. I guarantee you that there is a substantial amount of that application that is still web views. And what will happen is over time, they will slowly start moving over more and more screens over to native that need to be native. And things that don't need to be native because perhaps they're not that popular, maybe they're just rarely touched, can remain web views. And this is something I've been preaching for a long time. And in fact, this is something I talked about in one of my podcasts where I talk about Hotwire, which is Ruby on Rails, HTML over the wire with StimulusJS and how it gives you a lot of that responsiveness right out of the gate and allows you when you use Turbo Android and Turbo iOS to create those exact type of applications. So these things are possible. And in fact, this is exactly what I recommend a lot of startups do. Launch your application to the web, then get it inside of some type of app store where you can get some notifications built in, but still have the majority of it web views. Then the pieces that need to be native, update them when you can, then slowly integrate new updates and features that are native into your application as you see your available resources can accommodate it and your users are requesting it. And perhaps it's the area that's gonna help improve your app, your retention, your revenue, profits, and so forth, much more. That kind of wraps it up. My thoughts on Notion moving from web views to native. They nailed the execution of it. I couldn't have recommended it done better. In fact, this is exactly what I recommend everyone else do. We'll see how it goes in the future, but that's my thoughts on it. I'll catch you next time.